Hi folks, Roger Quinn here. Uh, this is just a little tutorial that hopefully will um, show you a fast track way of making a room in Cinema 4D. I have just started by making a cube and I'm just going to adjust that over here in the Attributes Manager to be a little bigger and it's simply just representing it's just a, a box at this stage, a cube, and it's uh, representing the size of the room that we're going to work with. So I've just made it 2,000 uh, by 2,000 by 1,000 using Cinema 4D's bizarre uh, pseudo metric system. Anyway, uh, there's all sorts of elaborate things we could do to make um, to divide that now into uh, a room, but here's a here's a quick way that can that uh, hopefully will work. What you do is you duplicate the cube. I've just used the control uh, copy method there. Or you could just make a new one if you want to. Uh, but uh, control copy makes it the same size. And then on that second one, I'm just going to change its dimensions to a little bit bigger. So I'm going to give it about 50 meters more in each of the um, three uh, dimensions there. And I'm now just going to rename that outer walls because it's the bigger one and I'll rename that one inner walls only because it makes it a little bit easier for us to see what we're doing just adjust these views here so that you can see now what we've got one cube sitting inside the other um, big deal I hear you say well this is the process now that you can use to divide that into uh, an actual three-dimensional inner and outer space by using the boolean Okay, the Boolean is just a uh, special modelling device that allows you to subtract one thing from another. So I'm going to add that to the scene, and then let's drag and drop once again. So I'm going to drag and drop my outer walls, and then I'm going to drag and drop my inner walls. Uh, and that has automatically done the wrong thing, um, which is pretty typical. What's happened here is that the order in which I've got those walls is reversed. So I've actually got the inner wall sitting first underneath the boolean and I've got the outer wall second. So all I'm going to do is just change the order by dragging that up. Oops, not like that. By doing that. So that the outer walls is the first object and the second object sitting under the boolean is inner walls. So in many respects it doesn't look any different. Um, in fact it looks exactly the same as it did before but with one special advantage. And what that is, is we can now cut a hole in uh, this room to make a window or a door or something, and it will behave accordingly, rather than leaving some sort of bizarre geometry. So I'm just going to rename that, uh, we'll call it room wall, so it doesn't get confused with anything else. And then to quickly demonstrate adding a, uh, a window, add a new cube. And I might just adjust that to be uh, 600 or something, something window size ish. And now what I'm doing, I'm going to just drag that. I've left it at roughly 200 wide. I'm dragging that to the edge uh, of uh, one of my walls. Uh, you can see the three views there, so I've got a little bit up from the base. In fact, it's smack in the center at the moment, and it's overlapping by a touch. And what we then do is we repeat the Boolean operation one more time. And this way it will automatically cut a hole. And so that's done by creating one more Boolean. Add the walls once again. And then drag the cube, which I'll just rename to be Window. Not Widow. Window. And it's done the reverse again. There we go. So, once again, I just had the order reversed. I've really got to remember to drag them in the right order. So we have Boolean at the top. Our room walls is the first child object of that. And then the window cube, which I had before, is the uh, second in line. And what you can see it does there, if I just zoom up, is it creates a nice, neat hole with the edge geometry showing. And that's actually the big deal. I know it doesn't seem like a big deal, but it actually makes that to reveal the true thickness of the wall. And in fact, if you render that, there you go. You can actually see there's a hole in there. 
Uh, you can use that method to make multiple windows if you like. Um, the way to do that is I'll just drag that all out of there for a minute. And we'll just make a few duplicates of, of that window. I'll just put maybe two windows in here. So I'll just use that same method, control, drag, to copy that and position that roughly in the right spot. If I was being pedantic, I'd probably want to check the measurements on that, or the dimensions, or the positioning, sorry, but no, it doesn't matter. I'm sure you get the idea. Um, and look, we'll make even one more of those and make a door. So I've just duplicated it, called it door. I'll now move that over to the opposite side wall. Yeah, that, that'll do there. Just rotate that around so I can see where it is. Doesn't much look like a door at the moment, but what I'll do is just change the dimensions to something more door-like. Not down there, any goose. I'll do it over here instead. Notice there is a difference between when you're using the Attribute Manager and the Coordinates Manager. Uh, none of these objects have been made editable, so the coordinates uh, works differently to when you are. So it changes things globally, whereas the attribute, Attributes Manager changes just the individual X, Y, or Z. And stupid me keeps getting confused between the two, because I normally make things editable straight away. But anyway, be that as it may, there's our door. Uh, exactly the same thickness for the moment, because uh, it's going to cut a hole, won't matter. And to get these to work as easily as that just did before, what we do, uh, group all of those things by shift-clicking them, in the object manager and then group them which you can use alt G or you can come up here and say group okay. rename them and call them uh, windows and with the door as well I suppose you could call it window doors if you want to be pedantically correct and then once again we shall drag them back onto that uppermost boolean object so at the moment uh, we only have boolean walls working and in fact we don't really see anything because um, we've just got some cubes sticking through it once again if I just repeat that process now drag the windows and doors to the uppermost boolean and then the room walls to the boolean ta-da, it cuts the whole for us and if we have a close look at that and we shall see a room and probably help if I rendered that so you can see it with the holes cut in it ready to rock and theoretically, let's rename that. It's just sitting in the object manager as one object. So the magic of booleans, there you go. That's worth a shot, rather than trying to make individual, you know, walls and holes and all the rest of it. That's a pretty quick way of doing it. Okay.